Hello, hello, everyone. Should I start right? Yeah. So yesterday we have discussed uh, about the React JS with the HTML packages, right? And from the HTML we can how we can add the React JS code base and React JS program. So now today's agenda is that we have to create something uh, from that uh, uh, node. NPM node module, and same thing we have to convert in that as a modular. But uh, before going to deep dive into the uh, step, I have to just clarify from you. So it's a NPM version. So anybody has any idea what is NPM or any kind of things? Node package manager. Yes, node package manager, and uh, it's I called it's a world largest software registry means it's a node uh, those are working in the node software uh, node packages so every package is is registered through the npm na? so npm is global structure yeah. and our any code or anything regard related to the node that will be installed by the npm so node package manager and other is npx so anybody can tell what is the difference between the npm and npx okay so npx is a node package executor so by the help of npx we can execute our code and npm is overall install the program and npm uh, that is, uh, we can say that we, it's a manager and other is the executor. That is the main difference. With the help of NPM, and we have we have maintained a few tape, uh, steps while installing the React in our um, local code base or local program or in the program. Okay. And okay, let's start for that and I will deep dive into step by step. I'll create all folder. One more thing that uh, starting and we have to install the node, and this is the official website node.js.org. Okay, and you can see that two kind of uh, the version is there. Hello, sir. Yeah, your screen is not shared. Screen not shared. Oh, go, go, go. One minute, sorry. My apologies. Are you able to see my screen? Please call from. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the node.js.org in the official website of Node. Okay. So, any updated version of Node that is uh, available here. So, you can see that. 18.12.1 and LTS and 19.0 current. That means it if I use LTS in that version, the current LTS version, so that is long term support. Means it's a stable. If we compare with the 19, right? So 19, some latest feature has been added. So might be some bugs or many any kind of features problem that might be appear in the 19 so they have recommended the LTS so whenever we can install that always prefer the LTS version from the node.js package okay if we click this thing and it's also be available that download for windows x16 so you can get this uh, my this is so cool so node version this kind of a installer you can appear in your screen and then you have to go next to next and Yes, then you'll get the Node.js package and you have to check, right? What is my package Node.js? So go to the comment from uh, Node. In my, in my case, I have used the 14 and I have also had the NPM. That is the first thing. I have a uh, node version that is 
and the NPM version is 66.14.50. This is my node and NPM structure in the version. Now, once you install the node, can you verify from the comment form that your node is installed or not? That is the verification side. Or you can say that node version, you can say, and the NPM. And after that, you are going to install the node JS, a React JS through node modules npm what is the three steps that i am writing over here first you can do what is one is npm install minus g create react app First, I will perform G means what? G means I will install globally this model. Means NPM is a global modules over there, right? Means software registry system over and the NPM package manager. So globally, I'll install the package. So G stands for global. Sorry, no? uh, sorry to interrupt. So yeah, can yeah, you? Yeah. Uh, specifically install that particular node model for a, a particular project also in a separate directory uh, no it's I... a boilerplate okay first have to install the boilerplate it will create the, the necessary files and folders in a project okay as a project directory you will create we will create okay. manually also but if the help of node modules right i'm going mm -hmm. to create the npm install so it will create necessary files folder in your system what is required for the Node.js? Hey, sorry, ARTS application up and running. Okay. This is one step. Otherwise, you can do it manually also. In PM init, it will init. Okay. Yeah. So you, it will actually. create it will create one package JSON file in your system. Yeah, that's a particular project dependent. Uh, in the, it's not. It's actually project dependent, right? So yes. I in PM in PM init means if you create with uh, there is two steps, right? With that help of npm install package, otherwise we can do the package.json file. So if you add the package.json and then you have add the React dependencies over there, and you can add the versions over there. But it mm -hmm. I'll show one by one. So if you I will do with that help of these things, and then I, I will do this. Thing. Okay. So globally we'll install this thing. So create React app, we cannot change anything. This is the name that is defined. Okay, we cannot add that APK or that name. We cannot do this thing. It's a create React tab. I have to add. So oh, I'll do it. It will take some time, okay? So uh, we have to wait. Or in that meantime, I will just discuss about uh, something on the NPM minute. This part, right? If we'll do in the NPM minute. With the help of NPM, NPM, two steps. Okay, you can see that package name. It will ask, what is the package name? I will add NPM node React person. Description with is demo react yes okay creation entry point entry point means to, uh, we have by default added index.js if I will not create index.js file will be created or otherwise you have create other files so entry point I will say the index.js and test command nothing git repository is 
you have any git repository you can add keywords you can add anything that we have just that demo anything you can add author name license and then it will show that this type of boil uh, json file the package json file will be created okay so if i say yes so you can see that package just json file will be created so the code I think due to some problem. Oops, okay. Huh. So I'll come here later. So first I'll say that npm install create reactor that has been installed right in my project. So create reactor. I the plus sign means it has already done install. So I am to see the version create uh, yeah. uh, version 5.0.1 so this is the current version now I have to create the actual boiler clip you see that nothing is created over here so if I will go and create yeah, uh, yeah. Hmm. So when we first run the create react app, so yes. it basically created a JSON file there. Yes. No, this is that if you create through the NPM in it, normal version, okay, normally, without the help of any kind of boilerplate coding, okay. So NPM in it basically create the package JSON file. If you see the package JSON file, right, in that part, that's that's why I have created two separate folders. Hmm. In the package JSON file. It is not bad. You can see. Same thing also created over there, but it's a command line. Means everything will be created through this command. And here you have to create step by step. Means I will create that in a start command. So I have to write by myself this thing. And the same thing will be created from this command. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the index.js, so you have to create one entry, entry point JS file. From that file, you have to edit this. Uh, the Hello, Koshik. Yes. After running the uh, npm install, mm -hmm. uh, create uh, the React app file, I have an error, npm error code E404. NPM? NPM okay. error so, so code. I'll, I'll catch you after this call, OK? Then okay. I, uh, this is. After I look on that, okay. Just okay. to me. You just ping me after the session, I will connect you. So it takes some time, and I will do one thing. And in that uh, online editor, the exact same replica said, "What is the code structure that we have?" So I will open this. Oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. So my, my screen is visible or not? Uh, not. It's visible, but it's blank. Yes, yes. So I think some problem. I will rejoin. Huh? Just give me one minute.
stop or you I then restart or put it. Yes. So my screen is visible, right? Yes. This one G. I will there. I'll just share the structure first and then I'll write the code. So yesterday earlier, what we will do, I will write the code in the index.html file, right? And the, after creating this type of uh, the structure, the boilerplate is created through that npm react, create reactor. And then you will get this type of structure. So here, app.js, you can see, right? App.js. So it says, first, they will create the class-based component here. So I'll come in the what is class-based component and what is functional component. But first, we have to in, understand the folder structure and what is the place the react actually rendered the code then i have to go that index.js so index.js you can see that react dom dot render so earlier i'll write yesterday that react dom dot render and same thing but i have to separate this as a module okay react dom dot render i'll create index.js okay so if i see the package.json file this file is responsible for any kind of dependency so one kind of dependency is development dependency and the other dependencies is that global dependency. So here only I've added the React and React DOM. It's a dependency and script like a start, build, test, reject. So this already created. Same thing I have to create with the NPM in it. I have to write this thing. Ah, so that will also create it. And you can see that dev dependency and dependency that is your structure, all our objects and package.json is plays a crucial role in the any node-based project that can be Angular, that can be React, that can be Vue. So we have to also maintain this package.json file and it will create, you can see that node modules. I you don't have any node modules, so if I add it, uh, just I will see that node modules, what is that? So if I will write, uh, open this thing. Here yeah, also node models not there. Node models, some kind of node dependencies, whatever the required uh, during the installation, that will be installed. So it looks like just a note. This is your node models. Okay. So it will directly means it will install in your package through the package.json file. Without the help of node model, anything, any packages, any name, or any kind of script that third party JSON, third party packages, nothing will work. So node models is required. So this is the structure of that any React.js project. Now I'll write the code and i will understand that what is functional based component and class based component is there, is there any questions hello no i don't know okay. so it's clear right First, I have to understand uh, this thing. Uh, 
No, in the React.js project, um, whenever you add the React package or React, uh, React code, so virtual DOM and real DOM, that is one concept is there, okay? So whatever, this is a browser DOM, is React, whenever you install React.js, after that, when you write any code, when you update anything, that will not directly goes to that main DOM. So in between your code and your React DOM, so virtual DOM plays a crucial role. So it has one virtual DOM manager and it will check whatever the changes in the component and then, then it will send to that main DOM. So there's the browser and the browser will display that whatever the view in the project that will display in the browser. So you can understand that virtual DOM and DOM, every time any changes occurred in the component, any changes is occurred inside that, any single changes in that you can update the code, update the component, update any uh, one component to other component, any changes that will check all that. And virtual DOM, it will reflect read in that from the DOM and the virtual DOM will place after getting that last information, the update, it will place to the real DOM and it will render in the browser. So only every node will be reflected, not the entire browser. So in the Angular and React, that is main difference with that. When you change, when you made any changes in the Angular projects, right? In enter, enter application will be re-rendered. It will take some time. But say node at very fast, only the changes, whatever the changes are made, these changes only updated and these changes only go to the main DOM. So this is the concept of virtual DOM or it will call also the shadow DOM we can also call. Other concept is JSX. JSX means JavaScript and XML. So whatever we can write inside the React code base, the class based component or functional component. So we have to add in the JSX format, where we can add HTML and JavaScript both. So in our project, in our React project, we can add, we can create component and whatever logic we are written, that is inside the JSX part. Means we had add JavaScript and HTML both inside the component. So this is the concept of JSX. And you can see that component state and stateful, stateless co component, I will come later. So up to this, is there any question, any problem, or any uh, query? Then I will go to the code, and I will write some code. So this is clear. No. I will create one uh, first uh, in the functional component. It's a functional component. In the functional component, I'll show one demo that is I have some data from JSON file. I have to read the data from JSON file and display over there. So I'll write the code from the scratch. The index.js file. This is the first entry point. So you can see the app, right? 
this app i will import earlier i will create some function app function header function main so now i will create the entire uh, thing in the index.js file mm -hmm. App equal to box. And create on app. By JSON file, what I will do this is my JSON file. This JSON file I will read to the index.js file. I will do. I will pass this thing as a message. Is equal to this is my props. Earlier I will show the same thing, but in right now I will read the data from the JSON. That is data dot this is my message. I will copy this there. So as a props, I will pass this thing to the function. So what I will do? I will just write this thing here. Either we can write this thing function app return okay. 
export default export default app So I will pass the props, control, report log, friends, js file I have created, that is index.js, I will import the app, use my app.js, and props, if I will refresh it, I am in the console, I can see, Three objects are coming. That means I will add the object from the JSON file and pass as a props. And this props I will pass to the app.js. Okay. Now I have to iterate the object and so. One thing that is also important that is if I will add multiple div, right? Div, div. So you can see the error is coming. So I have to wrap this thing. Either you will wrap this way and wrapper is needed. We cannot write this thing. It will show error. Or either you can use the fragments. The shortest syntax this is fragment. Okay. Or you can import the React from the React. Okay. You can use React dot segment or okay. Okay, okay. now I have to iterate this thing. What I'll do? Okay. Class name in HTML, I will use class, but here class name. Not text I will have. I will take other view that is not the last name from two from two.
Not
Koshika, I'm audible. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. Hello, you are audible. Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, actually, uh, are you uh, describing anything else or are you just writing? Uh, can you no, one word at no, Or is a, it in network or not no, able no, to hear it? No, no, there is a demo in there. Okay. So I will uh, show that uh, in the director. No, no, actually, I want to say, <coughs> can you please explain what you are writing? That, uh, it may helpful for us. Okay. Or, so, so you are explaining something I am not uh, yeah, able to hear you. I do not understand. Maybe network issue. Uh, okay, so this is the demo for how to read data from JSON file. It's a network issue. Actually, hello. Explain something hello. That I am not able to. Hear. Hello. Maybe. Yes. You are audible. Yes, yes. I am telling you. So here the de demo is for uh, basically a simple demo that is data, how to read data from the JSON file and render in that React component. So earlier I will use that HTML and React file, right? So currently in the boilerplate mode in that how to install the React in, through the NPM package and then I will show the demo from this environment. Is that clear? Problem is there that uh, 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 I think the cell box versus has created some problems. Was working.
Is that any issue, Coach? Yes, yes, I think that uh, that something is problem here. So JS is relevant. So so I that is a problem. So earlier I'll done, but I don't understand that why the problem is Docker. It's a simple thing means I have to pass that at your uh, value the JS file and then render in the that component. These two components I've created. One is message, another is app. And from that app, I will call this component. This is the thing. If I will call this directly in that message, it will spin to the hello. So something in that for loop or mapping is a some there's some problem. So that's drop dot message.
Hello. <coughs> Hello. I'm audible, right? Yes. Yes. I think some problem is there. Okay. So I'll uh, continue from this demo tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because some problem is there. So I continue from this demo tomorrow. This extra class you'll drop. Okay. Hmm. okay. Thank you, sir. Sure, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.